OWI arrests up in Sheboygan. Sheboygan man facing charges after child shot and killed. Dive team responds to ice rescue in Kiel. These stories are a few of the stories in this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. Hello, I'm Maddie Fister, and welcome to Community News Review for December 17, 2018. Sheboygan police say there was an uptick in the amount of OWI arrests and crashes in the city this weekend. Since the beginning of the month, there were eight OWI arrests in the city, and six of the eight happened this weekend. It is a good reminder for people to have a plan to get home safely if they are out celebrating for the holidays. A Sheboygan man is facing second-degree child abuse charges in the shooting death of his four-year-old son in Detroit. Police say Gary Chang of Sheboygan left a semi-automatic handgun unsecured in a home, and one of the boy's siblings picked it up and shot the child Friday morning. Police say five or six children were in the home at that time, and Chang's due in court December 26th. Rescuers were called to Sheboygan River near Keel after reports that someone had fallen through the ice near the Millhome Supper Club on Sunday morning. Keel Fire says a number of people reported seeing someone on the ice and then a short time later missing. Dive teams were called in and after searching for nearly 45 minutes, the person who was out on the ice returned to the scene, apparently walking away when witnesses were not watching. One person suffered minor injuries after a two-car crash in the town of Sheboygan Falls Thursday afternoon. The Sheriff's Department says it happened around 2.40 at the intersection of County M and County O. The driver of the 2015 Nissan was southbound on M and rolled through the intersection. She did not see a 2015 Dodge Ram pickup truck that was heading east on O. The driver of the pickup swerved to try to miss the car, but the crash was unavoidable. The passenger in the pickup truck had minor injuries and was taken to Aurora to be treated. The driver of the Nissan got a ticket for failing to yield the right of way. On the Sunday shows, there was a lot of focus on lame duck legislation passed by the Republican-controlled Wisconsin legislature. One bill limits early voting to just two weeks before Election Day. Congresswoman Gwen Moore represents Milwaukee, where a strong Democratic turnout helped elect Tony Evers, governor. It is clearly a part of the voter repression strategy of Republicans, Moore said on WISN's Upfront with Mike Gusha. On, er, on MSNBC's AM Joy, Scott Ross with One Wisconsin Now said a lawsuit is in the works based on a similar case. A federal judge in the case that we brought in 2016 ruled that these attacks on early voting were absolutely racially discriminatory and they were absolutely unconstitutional, Ross said. We will see you in court, Governor Walker. Other bills place limits on the authority of incoming Governor Tony Evers and Attorney General Josh Call. Republicans continue to assist that this is not true. The end result here is that there will be more legislative oversight in a lot of areas, but no power was taken away from the governor, no power was taken away from the attorney general. State Senate President, President Roger Roth said on Gush's program, just some common sense oversight measures put into place. Governor Scott Walker signed the bills into law Friday in Green Bay. Police in Oshkosh are asking parents to, who took their kids to see Santa at the local YMCA to come forward if they believe he sexually assaulted their children. Officers arrested 75-year-old B.T. Adams last week. 
They say they caught him on video abusing a three-year-old girl. Police think that there may have been more victims. A surveillance tape shows Adams kissing the girl on the mouth, and they believe he took the girl into a bathroom where she was sexually assaulted. Adams worked as a volunteer at the Y in Oshkosh, including a stint as Santa between November 8th and when he was arrested on December 6th. Investigators say that more than a dozen parents have already come forward with their own complaints about Adams. And finally, former Major League Baseball Commissioner Bud Selig is urging UW-Madison graduates to dream big dreams. Selig spoke at the Kohl Center Sunday for a university's fall semester commencement ceremony. The UW-Madison alumni said he dreamed of living a baseball life and that if his dream came true, the same can happen for the graduates. You will be faced with decisions, some mundane, some critical. It will result in actions that will set your course for the future, he told the graduates. Selig said, take advantage of these interesting times, because if you have the key words, hope and faith, if you are smart, persistent, and aggressive, and if you have the courage and vision, and you are dedicated and willing to sacrifice, and you are unafraid to form opinions and express actions on these opinions, you can make a difference. About 1,300 students took part in that ceremony. And that is our report for Monday. Join me again on Wednesday for another recap of Sheboygan Area Stories on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.